Hello? Hello, thank you for patiently waiting for another video. Uh, this year has kind of just been the worst and I feel like I'm aging in dog years. I was spending a ton of time online at the start of this pandemic, which was the opposite of what my goal was for 2020. So a couple of close friends of mine challenged me to unplug. And you know what? It's been great. I've been taking the extra time that I have now that I'm not constantly scrolling to spend time in nature and reconnecting with friends and just putting into perspective what's important to me. But I did miss my little corner of the internet so I'm very excited to be back today with hopefully a relaxing nail video. I did receive a request to do a short nail tutorial so that's what I'm gonna be doing today but I'm also going to be working with my non-dominant hand. We are gonna play around with some glitter it's gonna be great and for anybody that is new to my channel just a quick disclaimer I'm not a professional nail tech I'm not a professional nail anything I'm just a gal at home trying to save a couple bucks. I do my own nails as a form of relaxation I find it very therapeutic Therapeutic. I only do my own nails. I don't do other people's nails. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video as always Everything that I use will be listed in the description box below again. Thank you very much for patiently waiting for another video I hope uh, this brightens your day. Thank you for watching subscribing staying subscribed and let's get into it I find it so difficult to pose my right hand as opposed to my left hand. It's like my fingers have a mind of their own and they refuse to stay still. Anyway, these are my nails in their natural state. My thumb is a little bit uneven as usual, which will need to be fixed up with some structure gel. But before I do that, I'm going to clean up the dry skin around my nails using my trusty Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Once I've applied it to my cuticle area, I let it sit for a little bit to soften the skin. When I do anything to my dominant hand using my non-dominant hand, I always place my non-dominant fingers below the one that I'm working on for support. I find this gives my non-dominant hand more stability and better control over what it is that I'm doing. So I'm just pushing back my cuticles and I'm scraping away all of the dead skin surrounding my nails using the paddle side of my cuticle pusher tool. And today I'm using a slightly smaller cuticle pusher than usual because I am using my non-dominant hand and I find that the smaller tool gives me more control. I'm not going to speed this part up so that you can see just how slowly I move when I'm working on my non-dominant hand to prevent hurting myself by accident. I wiped off the mush around my nails with a lint-free wipe and some of my nail surface cleanser which I guess I didn't get on camera but now I'm taking my cuticle nippers and I am trimming away all of the dead skin that's hanging around my nails. Anything that looks dry and flaky must go. Again, I am moving very slowly and carefully to avoid cutting my live skin and hurting myself. I'm not speeding up the process on my thumb so you can see how slowly I move but I will speed it up for the rest of my fingers just for time's sake. Now I'm taking a bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe and I'm wiping down my nails again and then I'm moving on to filing and shaping. I'm first filing the sides of my nails so that they're nice and straight using a 180 grit file. Then I'm shaping the tips of my nails with a more gentle 240 grit file. And then I'm wiping off the excess dust 
off of my nails with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe. I went for a square shape today, which I quite like. Now it's time to fix up my thumb and give it a bit more of a square shape and even out the ridges on my nail plate using structure gel. If you guys want an in-depth look at how I use the gelish structure gel to create short nail extensions, I would highly suggest watching the video that I posted a few months back. I will link it in the top right hand corner of the screen as well as in the description box. The first thing I'm doing is I'm wiping down my nail with my nail surface cleanser and a lint-free wipe. Next, I'm applying the Gelish pH Bond, which is a dehydrator all over my nail, and I'm following that with my Gelish Pro Bond acid-free primer. I'll be using a horseshoe nail form again today, and once I have it set in place, I'm applying my Gelish foundation to the whole nail, and then I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. Next, I'm taking my clear gelish structure gel and I'm depositing a bit of it to the backing of the nail form that I just applied. I'm then picking up a drop of it with a small art store brush and I'm floating it along the gap between my thumbnail and the form. I'm not creating an extension today, I'm just filling in that chunk of my nail that's missing to square it out a bit. Once the gap is filled, I'm curing my thumb in my LED lamp for another 45 seconds. I'm applying a second layer of the clear structure gel over the same area using my art store brush, and then I'm switching over to the applicator brush to apply it to the rest of my nail, and then I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. Again, if you want a more detailed video on this process, it'll be linked for you in the description box. Now I'm taking my form off so that I can see how the shape of my nail is looking and I'm trimming off any excess with my cuticle nipper tool. And then I'm applying another generous layer of the structure gel to the entire nail and I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. I'm wiping the sticky layer off with my nail surface cleanser and a lint-free wipe, and now I'm moving on to filing and shaping my thumb to match the rest of my nails. Once my thumb is fixed up, I'm filing the surface of the rest of my nails with a gentle nail file, which will make the products that I'm applying afterwards adhere a bit better. And then I'm wiping off the excess dust and moving on to applying my Gelish pH Bond. Now that my nails are prepped, it's time to apply the Gelish Foundation. And the Gelish Foundation is just a base gel which acts as an adhesive bond between the nail plate and the product that I'm applying over top of it. I like to work in thin layers, especially when my nails are short so that the end result isn't too bulky. I also find thin layers help to prevent lifting later on. So once I've got my foundation on, I'm curing it in my LED lamp for 45 seconds.
And for today's gel polish choice, I'm doing a little combo of OPI Bubble Bath and OPI Funny Bunny. These two paired together are super cute. I think it was actually one of you who recommended that I try this combo like a year ago. I've said this before, but I find that OPI gel polishes apply very sheer and they require a lot of building up. So what I'm gonna do is apply two thin coats of Bubble Bath followed by two thin coats of Funny Bunny. And I'm gonna cure my nails in my LED lamp for 45 Five seconds between each coat. Uh, I'm gonna stop talking for a while and allow you to enjoy me doing this. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna play with this pack of cute multi-shaped iridescent glitters that I found on Amazon. This is a great find. It offers a variety of glitter shapes from hearts, stars, circles, to butterflies, triangles, flakes. It's got it all. I did a pretty simple design on my left hand, just scattered a few stars on each nail. I was planning on applying a little crescent moon on my ring finger, but I totally zoned out while I was painting my nails and forgot. I'm gonna do something a little bit different on my right hand. So I'm just picking out the glitters that I want to play with. I was looking for nail glitters that were thin and delicate enough to lay flat on the curve of my nail plate without the corners sticking out, if you know what I mean. So I'm applying a super thin layer of the gelish top coat to my entire nail, and I'm not gonna cure this. I'm just creating a sticky layer for the glitters to adhere to. Then I just start picking up the glitter one at a time with my embossing tool, and I'm placing each glitter in a scattered fashion on my nail. I decided to focus the glitters around the top half of my nail closest to my cuticle area. And there's no real rhyme or reason here. I'm just trying to find a nice balance between all of the different shapes. I think any design using these glitters would look super cute. So you just go crazy with them.
Once I've got my desired placement, I'm curing my nails in my LED lamp for 45 seconds and then I'm moving on to encapsulating the glitter using my Gelish Structure Gel again. I'm applying two generous coats of this to my nails and I'm curing each coat in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. Next, I'm wiping the sticky layer off of my nails with a lint-free wipe and my nail surface cleanser, and then I'm gently buffing the surface of my nails with a buffing block. I do this anytime that I work with glitter to smooth out the tops of my nails of any bumps, and because I encapsulated the nails with structure gel first, no glitter was harmed in the buffing process. This manicure actually looks pretty cute when it's matte, so you could just call it a day and leave it as is, or you could go for a shiny look and finish off with top coat as I am. As always, I'm using my gelish top coat, applying a thin layer and curing in my LED lamp for 45 seconds. I just love watching the iridescence of the glitter come to life as soon as the top coat hits it. It's just so satisfying. Once my nails are cured, I'm wiping the sticky layer off with the Nail Surface Cleanser and a lint-free wipe, and I'm rehydrating the skin around my nails with my cuticle oil. And that completes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I love the way my right hand turned out. I think it looks super cute. As always, everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys for patiently waiting for another video. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and staying subscribed. And I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.